If you've been having any trouble at all with the FG knot, this video is for you. I've had a lot of questions come in about, about tying the FG knot and people saying that it's been difficult. And here's the thing to do to start. So it's all about just getting comfortable with this knot. And in most cases, the difficulty arises from using a leader that is very thin and flexible. So to get used to the knot, I recommend starting with a very thick leader, thicker than you plan on using in real life. So this is 80 pound leader, and this is just a 20 pound braid, and it is, it is a million times easier than normal. So practice with this, and then you can get the, the, the smaller diameter leaders and just get better and better and better doing it. Because it does work for thinner lines, but it's just, it's just more difficult. So if you haven't yet tied this knot, I'll show you how to tie it. This knot is amazing. This, I've done a lot of knot contests, and this knot has proven to be the thinnest knot, and it's also, it's literally the strongest one out there. It has been, it has been shocking how strong it is. So what I recommend doing, first of all, just get a rod. We'll use the tension method. Get a rod, put it up against a chair, and you can put it in the rod holder in the boat. You can just wedge it with your legs or knees or whatever in the kayak, but you want to get tension on the line. So we're going to wrap it around our pinky. Called the pinky tension method. This is super easy. So the trick is just to get a little bit of tension on the line. And so now we can control the tension with our pinky. Now what we want to do is with this leader, get the, the tag end, do about four inches over the braid and just do a wrap away from us toward the rod and then go back forward. And then we're going to do another one back towards us. And what that's doing is that's threading the braid around the leader line. And the reason why the thicker line is, is easier is because every time you do it, that leader line does not bend, it does not twist, it's very thick and it's, uh, it's basically just wrapping that, that line around it. So once you get used to doing it, you can go a little bit faster, but again, just start going over the line and then go around and towards the rod, pull it straight, and then go around towards me, pull it straight. And do it anywhere from 16 to 20 times. Doesn't really matter. It seems like, you know, it, it all will hold. As long as it's 16 or more, it'll hold. And, um, and let me just show you the, the tension method. I haven't been counting, but this is gonna be about right. I'm gonna do two more. So that's really it. So the last one, I like to go away from me. I like to go where the, the leader is now going away from me. And now these coils are set. This is the FG knot. These FG knot coils is really the strength of the knot. And because this knot is the, the leader line is not going to double down. So at this point, we thumb it, or at least pinch, I should say. We've got to keep those coils in check, keep them right in place. And so we're going to do what's, what, what's called a half hitch knot. You just grab the braid. I go from underneath, wrap it around, grab it with my finger, and literally just goes through the line. And that's just a simple half hitch. Tighten it down right up there against the coils. Now these coils are locked into place. We're gonna go ahead and do one more of those for good measure. And then the next, so we do, we do two half hitches, pull it tight. This is a step that you cannot miss. If you miss this step, your this knot could very well go off. Right now these coils, they're just laying flat on the surface of the leader. We need to make sure they dig in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach up the line and I'm gonna wrap my hand around it three times. This is braid, braid can hurt a lot if you're not careful, or you can get some gloves. And, uh, and zoom in here on this knot, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten it down to the point where the, the, the line actually digs in. You're gonna see a, a, slight, a slight color change. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten that guy down. It goes nice and slow, and you wanna have that color change all the way to the very top. Check that out. So that, that look, you can see that this, this line is digging into the, the, into the leader. So that's the strength of the FG knot. Those braid coils have to dig into place. If they don't, that then the, the line could very well shoot right off on a cast, especially for casting not through guides. So now at this point, the, the FG coils are dug into place. We're going to get some scissors, cut it very close. So now that the leader line is cut, we're gonna finish with some more half hitch knots. So again, same thing. I like just to have tension on the line to make it easy. I'll go ahead and do it opposite just so the camera can see but I, I have tension on the line with one hand and with the other, wrap the line around, pull it tight, cinch it down. All right, so you're basically cinching that down right on top of the leader. So grab it, pull it tight, cinch it down. And what you can do, this is optional, you can do, they call it risotto finish and a bunch of other names, and it's basically, you just go through it multiple times, it's almost like doing a uni knot. But I, I usually do three to four, just normal half hitch knots, I've still never had one fall through but uh but you can do as many as you like it really doesn't matter because the strength of this is really determined in those in those fg coils so the fact that we have those fg coils in place that's the ticket and then all these little hitches and stuff just make sure those fg knots stay in place and so that's it right so now the final step 
is to cut this bad boy, cut the tag end. I usually do about maybe a quarter inch or so of, a, of space. And that's the FG knot. You can see this is a very thin knot. It literally cannot get any thinner because the leader line never doubles over. It is incredibly strong. And the reason why it's so strong is it just helps spread the load of the tension across this entire knot. Most knots, like the, the uni knot, or, the, or so I should say a double uni knot, the blood knot, I mean, there's a million knots out there. Most of them have a sharp turn. It, it, I've done a ton of breaks and the break always happens at the sharp turn. This one does not have any sharp turns. That's why it is proven to be, uh, to be very strong. So that's it. If you're new to tying this knot, start with a very thick leader. The thicker, the better. The thicker it is, the easier it is. And, uh, and then as you get used to it, then you can go lighter and lighter and lighter and you'll eventually find that it's super easy and, uh, and, it's, and it's actually pretty quick too after some practice. So that's it for now. If you have any questions at all about this knot, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I do check the comment feed frequently. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best fishing club for inshore saltwater anglers, especially if you're going after redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it. We actually guarantee you're gonna be catching more fish while saving both time and money. And we do that through our premium education, our exclusive online community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.